to all the so-called prophets out there, Gino Genes has a message for you. I think this is very interesting. What have gotten into churches like this, brothers and sisters? The love for money. I expect to make money every day and I do. Cause I just need more. I just need more. I'll be out walk on this money. Woo! Put, put this anointing on this money, man. Woo! Put some money. Put some anointing on this money. And I like brand new money. I just, I don't want any money around me. It's not, I'd almost rather have a, a new one than a brand, than an old 20. Now that's kind of dumb, isn't it? But there's something about new money that excites you. You like hundred dollar bills? I like oh. new money too. Oh, most beautiful thing on earth is a hundred dollar bill. I hadn't seen a woman as good looking as a hundred dollar bill. The love of money drives prosperity preachers to continuously seek more wealth, potentially overshadowing the spiritual aspects of their ministry. When a man truly represents God, he don't preach for money. No. no. And you should never have to pay to see him. That's right. Never. 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 You gotta buy a ticket to see Jake's. Right. My Lord. You gotta pay Jake's. My Lord. You gotta pay Benny Hinn. Right. 10,000 prayer lines. $50,000 right. prayer line. Right. $100,000 prayer line. Amen. And what you get in return? <sighs> That's it. Go ahead, brother. Okay, so you saw that. I mean, am I the only one that know that? Gino Jenin does not turn the Bible belief for anyone. He is what you called a true man of God, someone that stands up for, for what's right. And I truly believe that if we have pastors and leaders of churches that is like Gino Jenin, this world would be a better place. You know, one thing I, I know about Christianity is that there's Muslim, right? The, um, the Muslim population, they don't change nothing for nobody. They're pretty consistent and they're pretty together and they believe the same thing. When it comes to Christianity, we have so many different beliefs, so many different denominations. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And our beliefs are not consistent. They're so far off from when, it come, when you compare it to the Muslim um, belief there, you know, maybe they have certain things that they don't truly, you know, are consistent on, but majority of their beliefs are very consistent. Now, when you think about the Christians belief, it's like, it's so off, so inconsistent. And this is why the world don't take us seriously. This is why I believe that they have no respect for us and they don't have respect for our belief because we're so inconsistent. We're all over the place and we have too many different denominations. All right, but let me know what you think. Please don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. Have a blessed day.